Hey Naturally Curly World, I'm Grace and welcome to Watch and Go. This is the show where we review whatever we want, TV shows, movies, while we do our wash and goes. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing Little Big Lies, which is on HBO on Sunday nights. Who knows what lies out there beneath the surface? So today for my wash and go, I'm going to show you what products I'm going to be using. Um, this is Diva Curls Build Up Buster Micellar Water Cleansing Serum. This is Diva Curls Low Poo Delight Weightless Waves uh, Shampoo. And this is the conditioner in that same line. Diva Curl has a whole line for wavies. Uh, this is Oyen's Hairdo. It's quenching lotion. I use it to moisturize. And then this is Jesse Curl Rock and Ringlet Styling Potion which I use to set my waves. I'm here to represent the wavies. I don't want any haters. I am textured as well. I'm just, you know, I gotta encourage my waves a little bit. Sometimes they're shy. So I'm just gonna start off by detangling my hair. And I'm gonna tell you about Big Little Lies. Big Little Lies is a show on HBO. Um, it's executive produced by Nicole Kidman and Reese Witherspoon because they're multi-talented and rich and, you know, beautiful and they can just produce a show on HBO and everything is fine. That's just, you know, that's how they live their lives. So the show is basically about, like, a beachside California town. Obviously it's full of rich people because only rich people live in beachside California towns. So Nicole Kidman, Reese Witherspoon, um, Shailene Woodley and all these other moms, all their kids are in the same class. And the whole premise of the show is that there was a murder at a fundraiser for the first grade class. Like a gala fundraiser. Not just like, let's go to a PTO meeting, everybody chip in 20 bucks. It's like a gala for a first grade class. Okay, so now my hair is basically detangled. So now I'm going to use this Build Up Buster from Diva Curl. I wet my scalp and then I put the Build Up Buster in and then I rinse it out and then I shampoo. You can probably skip the shampoo if you have a drier scalp. And then I'm gonna go uh, condition after that. I'll put the, the hairdo in soaking wet hair. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna scrunch some of the styling potion in my hair. And while I do that, I'm gonna tell you about Reese Witherspoon's character in this show. Her name is Madeline. Uh, very like rich person name, I love it. My favorite part of the show is that she's married to Ben from Parks and Recreation. And Ben has a beard. And I don't know the character's name because he's Ben from Parks and Recreation. Like every episode, I'm just like, where is Leslie? Why is Ben in this show and why is he acting like a rich tech entrepreneur. Um, so Madeline in the show is struggling to get this play produced. None of the rest of the town wants the play to be produced because it's about Muppets and they have sex in the show. It's a really famous Tony award winning show, to be fair. I just can't remember what it's called. And then she's also dealing with like an ex-husband who has a new wife she doesn't like, and her teenage daughter wants to move out. And then there's Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman's character's name is Celeste. Again, you're usually not named Celeste unless you're French or rich. But anyways, Nicole Kidman's character, Celeste, is dealing with this terrifying, abusive husband. He's very, very menacing. And he's a great actor, but I'm just like, so scared for her character constantly. It seems like he might kill her at any minute. And I really want her to leave him, but I don't think she will. So overall, the show's tone is kind of like Desperate Housewives for HBO. It's a little bit soapy, a little bit melodramatic, and the characters are really interesting. It deals with being a working mother being a stay-at-home mom who feels guilty for wanting to go back to work and have her own life and not always be taking care of kids. It deals with marital problems. It deals with mother-daughter issues. And I think a lot of critics and a lot of people 
are writing it off as just Desperate Housewives for HBO. It's actually a really interesting look at, at women in their lives. To be fair, they're filthy rich, so it's like a little bit unrealistic. So as you've probably noticed, I've been scrunching for like the majority of the time I've been talking. Uh, and if you're a wavy, you know that that's the name of the game. Scrunch it up because that's the way that I get my hair to set. Now I'm gonna part my hair and clip the roots up to increase volume in the roots. I've watched four episodes of Big Little Lies by now. I was gonna give it a 3.5. I'm gonna raise my score to a four out of five because as you get further into the season, stuff seem, seems to get heavier and relationships are getting more intense and more involved, which I really like. All right, so I put all these clips in, they're lifting my roots, and now I'm just gonna let it air dry, and that's my wash and go. So to thank you all for watching, we're doing our first giveaway, yay! So I'm gonna tell you guys what we're giving away. We're giving away all these wonderful products. We have Diva Curl Heaven and Hair Intense Moisture Treatment, Diva Curl Low Poo Original Mild Lather Cleanser. This is the daily cream conditioner that goes with that shampoo. This is the Oyen Hairdo Quenching Lotion. I use this, I love this. The Jessie Curl Rock and Ringlet Styling Potion, which I also use. So if you wanna enter to win these products, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and leave a comment telling us what you've been watching, what TV shows, movies, Whatever you've been watching, let us know, and we'll let you know in the comments who won. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. I can't wait to read your comments. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and come back next Wednesday for another episode of Watch and Go. Bye.